against Kansas tonight. It's been a long week. We haven't had a lot of time to get out this week. So Lawrence isn't too far from home. It's a great place to go visit. It's a college town, so there's a lot going on. Right now we're on Mass Street, and we're gonna just kind of look around. We're having dinner. This is Noodles and Company. Our first time being here. I know it's a nationwide thing, but uh, we thought I'd give it a try. So far, it looks really good. Lawrence, Kansas is the uh, home of KU and uh, there's a lot of college students and things like that, so it's pretty busy. So what uh, What do you think of noodles and company? Do you like that? Yes. Mine was pretty spicy. We're gonna go back to the car. It's pretty cold today. When we spoke to you guys last week, it was uh, pretty warm last week. On Wednesday, it reached up to the 70 degrees. It's Wednesday again today, and it's uh, it's been cold. We're right at freezing or below freezing so it's been kind of a adventurous week for once you get used to that 70 degree weather then we go back to being ice cold again we can window shop everything's in short sleeves <laughs> no thanks <laughs> this mass street's known for its bars and its restaurants oh yes and uh Which one? Right here. Oh yeah, are these here? <laughs> I like them. It's all one big piece of wood too. <laughs> Maybe we're leaving too early. I look down. Lawrence is a lot of fun. There's a lot of, what would you call it, street actors? Yeah. We came up here once and there was uh, fire performers going on. A lot of musicians come and play. Yeah, I think that gentleman there, I saw a guitar case. I'm going to say he's getting ready to do a little guitar. I've seen saxophones. Yeah, yeah, usually there is at least a saxophone. Now this really isn't far from home for us. We are, what, 25 minutes away from here. Jenna drives through Lawrence pretty much every day on her way to work. It's an athletic town. People walk around. You'll see scooters and skateboards and other fun things like that. So I'm saying I love you in a bikini. <laughs> so, I'll give you guys a really quick look of what Mass Street looks like. This is a much a shopping center, bars, restaurants. We enjoy coming here on special occasions for us. The restaurants have a lot of patios, which is really nice during the warmer seasons. When basketball, football, and the major sports from KU are going on, this is the happening place. Man, is it cold out there. My hand is literally a popsicle. I was worried I was gonna drop my gimbal the whole time. So that's an idea of what Lawrence looks like here in Kansas. It's a great town. If you're ever out this way, it's right on I-70, it's worth a stop. We've gotta head further west, so we're heading to Topeka, right? So well, you heard them. Leave your trailer connected.
So the wife works out this direction, and uh, this is a usual truck stop for us. So we are in Oak Grove, Missouri. It's not too far from Kansas City. And on Monday, March 6th, a EF3 tornado came through this town in what was a quick storm. It wasn't here very long and it did some damage. This is in all the years I have lived in Kansas or the Kansas City metro area, which I've been here since 1987, we hear about tornadoes all the time and we see them on TV. It's happened to cities all around us, but we have never been able to actually see the witness, the damage and the carnage of what happened when a tornado came through. So today the wife and I decided we would take a small adventure and head out to Oak Grove here. So I, I want everyone to be able to see the kind of damage that something like this tornado can happen because it, it happens in seconds, if not minutes. The, the difference between a tornado and a hurricane is hurricanes come from big storms that we know are there and they last, they can last days, weeks even. It's, it's, they, they're around long enough that they can name them. Unfortunately for a tornado, it's short term. Sometimes they were on the ground for seconds, sometimes they're on the ground for minutes, but the amount of destruction they can do is terrible. Um, I've seen entire towns that were completely wiped out after a tornado. Now, of course, like I said, I haven't seen them in real person. They were on videos and whatnot, but we visit them afterwards. Uh, Greensburg, Kansas, for example. We had friends who had relatives that lived there and the entire town got wiped out. Luckily, their relatives survived and they moved them to Kansas City, but the wife and I drove through that town 10, 12 years later and they're rebuilding and they're doing it in a green fashion, which is really nice. But things like this, I don't think you recover from. It's, it's ugly because you're a real fear of storms and it makes you question where you live at and the security of where you live. These sticks and stones that we make our houses from are nothing compared to the fury that Mother Nature can bring. We are a little worried because uh, right now they're looking for the rumors. I've already had one sheriff drive by, he didn't say anything to us, but I've heard rumors that they're arresting people. And we're trying not to activate it. We are on a public area, so this area is accessible to us. We're going off of private property. We are next to this graveyard right here, which there are hundreds of stones that got knocked over. I was actually shocked so many got destroyed, but I don't think they fell over because of the wind. I think they fell over because of the uh, come over here. I mean, you can see right off my left shoulder this barn. I mean, a third of the barn is missing and the roof is gone. And that debris is what's taken out fences and si sides of homes and some of these headstones that are out here.
So you can see here is a fence that was knocked down, more fence over here. I'm looking out over this way, some power lines and trees that were damaged by the winds and the debris. Right over here is a headstone that was knocked over. There's quite a large number of those, but most of them are up over the hill that way a little bit. Notice the, the debris sitting along the sides of the road. I mean, I feel sorry for them. I've seen some folks with their kids out here and everything, and I mean, it goes for miles. We happen to be in a fairly newer neighborhood. These are nicer homes. It's, it's hard to feel what they're going through. I really just want you all to have a chance to kind of get a good look at what, what did happen. It's terrible. I don't know them, they don't know me, but I, I wish the best for them. I hope everybody got out okay. These are all somebody's home. Their whole life is in that house. Their families, their things, everything. So I know that the subject in hand is a little on the depressing side, and I'm sorry that uh, I'm bringing the channel down for the day, but I felt it was important to kind of put a word out there about how serious tornadoes can be, even though you hear stories about how people go and sit on the front porch and watch for them. It really is in everyone's best interest to take cover when the opportunity arises. If you would like to donate and try to help the folks who were involved in this tornado in Oak Grove, Missouri, I'm going to put all the information for how you can donate if you want to. Remember, every little bit can help. I know not everybody has a lot of money. We don't either, but we give something when we have the opportunity. You never know when it's going to be us next. The information will be down below. If you have a couple dollars, give what you can. But with that said, next week's vlog will be better. We are actually taking a nice trip. I got something planned for my son and him and I are going to go do that and I think everyone's going to look forward to it. It's going to take us out of the state. It's actually going to take us a few states away. It's uh, about a four and a half to five hour drive. It should be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that.